This is the hardest offense to stop in Madden 23. It has explosive run plays. Run. Glitch out to get open against any defense. And won't play touchdowns versus every defense in the game. Break yourself, fool! Thank you! Windows tinted on my ride when I drive it. So if you want to see what brand new offense I'm using results like this. Oh my god! Stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'll once again be using the Pittsburgh Steelers offensive and multi deep defensive ebooks as these are probably the best off meta playbooks on the game right now. I'm also going to be using the Dallas Cowboys once again as this team got a lot of requests in the comments section lately and I enjoyed using them to the point that I wanted to keep using them for a while. The Washington Commanders is probably the next team on my list but as always let me know in the comments section what teams you'd like to see me use next and you might see me use them in the next video. Before I get into the video though as always if you guys are enjoying the content Woo! and want to see more please make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button and let me know in the comments section as it really helps out the video and the channel. Channel. And if you want to see more money plays from this or any of my ebooks, all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pinned comment to have them sent to the email of your choice for instant download. The offense that I'll be using today is actually the reason I switched to this playbook in the first place, and that is the gun tight doubles. I've already put out several full breakdowns of other formations from this playbook, so if you want to see more, I'll have links in the description as well as an on-screen pop at the end of the video. So stick around for that. To run this offense, the first thing you're going to want to do is put your fastest or best receiver in this spot here, as this is the spot that all the one play touchdowns are going to come from so in this spot i'm going to put Cavante turpin because even though he is a terrible receiver he does have a 95 speed and that's all that matters in madden for my five play audible setup i will have four pass plays and only one run play in the halfback quick base which has quickly become one of my most favorite run plays as i plan on doing an entire video dedicated to just this one play i have several hard to stop dink and dunk concepts that beat both man and zone in this offense as well starting with the z spot as every round in this play can get open next up i change up the popular flood drive play with the bench as it's basically a better version of the exact same play and the last play is the shot fade cross which is pretty much a one play touchdown against every defense in the game the last play that i choose for my active fifth play is the cross wheels which is another hard to stop dink and dunk play with double crossing receivers after all these adjustments i barely have time to read the defense so i decided to just run the ball so i can refresh the play clock so i switch over to the halfback quick base this play doesn't really require any adjustments but if you motion over the tight end it takes the blocking on this play to a whole nother level he could go all the way 95 yards as we score on the very first play of the game. On defense, I'll be using the nickel 3-3 formation that I just put out in the video a few days ago, but I'll mostly be focusing on offense in this video, so if you want to see more about how I run this defense, I'll once again have a link in the description and a pop-up at the end of the video. I get my opponent to a quick 4th and 5 on the first drive before the pressure gets in and gets the stop. Woo! The key to running this offense is the short passing game. The double drags on the cross wheel requires no adjustments and is the only pass play that goes over the middle, while the bench and Z spot are both plays that go to the outside. So basically, I will just alternate between the three mixing inside and outside passing concepts to keep my opponent off balance. I also like to run the quick base a lot, but I don't want it to be a tell every single time I motion across the tight end. So sometimes I motion across the tight end and just put him on a drag so that it keeps my opponent honest. I make a new adjustment on the next play as the drag is open once again to get me inside the five before I see that he is sending the house with a man zero blitz. So I switch over to the Z spot on the next play as I'm expecting the running back to be uncovered. Typically when I run this play though, I put the B route on a streak to get the tight end opening against man or zone. I also put the Y receiver on a drag so I have a high low concept over the middle. But of course the running back was wide open as we walk in for the score. That's just too easy. On defense, it looks like he's given up on the pass already as he starts running the ball relentlessly in a hurry up fashion attempting to make a quick comeback he finally switches over to an empty backfield look and I was just a little bit behind from getting an interception on the next play I'm still trying to set up my defense as he calls the play and hits a wide open receiver for the score to keep him in the ball game Back on offense in the next series, I read cover two zone defense, so I switch over to the shot fade cross as the only adjustment I ever really have to make is putting the wide receiver on a streak, and the fade beats just about every defense in the game. 
Oh, you almost had it. I want to run some clock before halftime, so I try to run the ball, but he pushes me back on back-to-back -back plays. So on third and 12, I switched to the bench play, and my tight end looked like he was going to get wide open. Nope. Until he ran to a bunch of Packers defenders to mess everything up. So since I have the lead, I decided to take the points to put me up two possessions, while also leaving a lot of time on the clock for my opponent. Back on defense, he starts the drive by running the ball a lot as he has all of his timeouts, but he quickly turns into a passing player after burning a couple of those before his tight end straight up mosses my much smaller defender who's out of position and then he finishes the drive the exact same way. He only leaves me 15 seconds on the clock, so I switch back to my single back wing stack offense that I made videos about the last two weeks. I just made a full breakdown of this offense, so if you guys want to see more, I once again have a link in the description. When I come to the line, it looks like he's in a man prevent, so I switch over to the PA Power O, which is my best man beating play, and it turns out that he was actually in a zone, but I am still able to dot him up to get closer to field goal range with only 8 seconds left. From the 42, I don't know if my kicker is capable of making it from here because I don't really use the Cowboys that much, so I need to get a few more yards back. So I switch back to the cross wheels play as it's pretty much a guarantee and I take another field goal attempt to end the half. Second half on defense, my opponent is still dinking and dunking and running the ball before I get him into another fourth down in his own territory before Rodgers throws a complete duck that I almost go the other way with before getting tackled in field goal range. On the next play though, it looks like my tight end has a step. You'll have to excuse my friend, he's a little slow. I caught off the return successfully, but Dak Prescott's tackle rating must be like a negative five or something. Well, I bet you here. As the computer completely gifts this man a pick six and the lead. The hell is that? On the next play, I read cover zero once again, so I switch to the shot fade cross right away. Break yourself, fool. <laughs> and I would have scored if Turpin didn't have to slow down for the ball. No big deal though, as I read cover two once again on the next play, so I switch back to the Z spot, put the B route on a streak, and hit the tight end to take the lead back. I go for two and decide to run, only to see him shift his entire defense when I motion across the tight end, but that's fine, as this play is easily cut back. Now on defense, my opponent is in straight up empty backfield hurry up mode, which isn't working out too well, as we get him into another fourth down situation that he barely picks up, before he goes for a deep shot to get in the field goal range on the next play. So I've had enough as I start to send the house with a user blitz before pushing him back on the ground the next play, that pushes him back into fourth and forever that he decides to go for. How about new? Now up seven with possession, I could just run clock, but I see a cover zero one more time and I can't help myself, so I switch to the shot play one more time, only to see Turpin just drop it for some reason Oops. which team do you play for now after wasting that down i just want to secure it first so i go back to the double drags to get into a critical fourth and one i decide to pass for it but i make that tight end motion one more time in hopes that he run commits from it and it works perfectly as the drag gets wide open once again for another first down from here, I decide to run a little clock before going back to the drag once again to get inside the red zone and finishing off the drive with another tough run by Pollard for the score. The lead doesn't last that long though, as I get a little bit too aggressive and give up a quick one play touchdown to keep the Packers in it. I could try to run clock here once again, but I recover one man on the next play and decide to just score instead. Thank you, Windows tinted on my ride, but I drive in it. On defense, he has to push the ball down the field now, so on the very first play, gotcha, bitch. we come away with a game ceiling interception and return it in the field goal range with a little over a minute left to play. I could just run the clock out from here, but I don't want to wait for something stupid to happen, so I put my foot on the gas, hit the deep route to get inside the 10. From here, I make a few new adjustments by streaking the tight end to split the safeties. Now down three scores, my boy has something to say as we gotta go for two now. As we drop a 50 burger on his cheese head, and now he is rejuvenated, going complete try hard mode to score, running hurry up, calling all of his timeouts, doing hook and lateral plays and shit like that, just to get a completely meaningless score for a moral victory of only losing by two possessions. He even goes for two in an onside kick, like he could score 16 points in six seconds. I could kick a field goal from here just to rub it in, but I see he's in cover zero once again, so no more victories, bro. You're going to take all of this L. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys enjoyed the content, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section. If you want to see more from the offenses or defenses I was using in today's video, I will once again have links popping up on screen. So just click them because I'm sure it'll help at your game. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Mike, shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.